for round two of the AYC fishing tournaments in 2019, we headed to Lake Glenbourne for a mixed species event. The guys were targeting yellow belly and bass for the average length of their 10 best fish over the weekend. With the bass being measured to the fork of the tail, it made targeting the yellow belly extra important. The bass had been on lately and it was going to come down to who could find and catch the yellow belly. So mostly gulp, you're just yeah. using gulps, yeah. black gulps? Yeah, black or? gulps, yeah. Okay, and what size, just quarter ounce jig heads, yep. 3 quarter ounce bass jig heads. Oh, cool, yep. good yep. stuff. Anyway, you're the first team in this morning with a few yellows, yeah. and you're the first team with a, with a limit of yellows, so you're going to be right up there at the end, so good luck. Thank you. had predicted storms on Saturday afternoon, but we didn't expect what was about to hit us. Hey, what's this? Drought breakers. Woo! <laughs>
Uh, g'day guys, uh, here at the start of uh, session two on the Sunday morning. Last night we, we just absolutely got smashed yesterday afternoon. We had a storm come through at Glenbourne, which is all, Glenbourne's noted for mad storms, but it just, it, it, we lost our marquee, we lost everything. Um, we, all the boys were on the bank, we had to wait a little while to, to measure their fish. Um, because of course everything was just so we reckon we got 50 60 mil of rain here yesterday afternoon about half an hour but anyway beautiful morning it's it's really cloudy and overcast it's foggy um, everything's glassed out uh, the boys are going to smash some fish this morning uh, results uh, yesterday a lot of the guys uh, that were targeting yellow belly are obviously way in the lead the bass guys are just just way down because it is a measure uh, not a weight thing uh, but those guys that went out with the attitude of of getting their uh, 10 yellow belly nice and early. There was a bite window yesterday morning and they, they just donged it. So uh, well done guys. I think the boys from Dubbo are leading. Uh, Looms is Fish and Fix are coming uh, second. So you've got Outback Angler in first, Looms is Fish and Fix in se uh, second and Chase and Tail in third. Um, the lures are choice, probably gulp, um, quarter ounce jig heads up and down on the trees. Same old thing uh, has been the, the the uh, go-to lure for the weekend. Fished off the island uh, to start with at the back. Yep. Had a submerged tree a little bit further back on the bank that produced for us, and then way out the back. Yeah. The so, river. yeah. So the island there must have been a lot of yellows there. There was a lot of teams there over the weekend. Yeah, it fished really well to start with, but it just seemed to didn't handle the pressure too well, so we moved off the back. Yep. So your your, your technique, the rods you were using, uh, your leader size, mate. What was your what was your gear? Uh, we are mostly fishing around 10 pound, quarter ounce jig heads, black gulps, yep. um, a little bit of a little bit of an edge rod okay. that was left after it broke. Oh, okay. <laughs> well you get that with edge, that's bloody, yeah. Um, so how'd you find the fish on pre-fish? Were you just driving along sound and you spent a lot of time on the sounder? I, I've noticed that. Like you're just, you're just looking at it the whole time when you're moving. So are you side scanning those fish or? Side scan and down scan, yep. just to confirm what I'm seeing, um, and just noting where we found good findings. Yep. Um, trying to figure out 
you know, the fish where they're active and based it off that. So did you have any idea that they were yellows you were looking at? Were they showing up bigger on the sounder compared to the bass? I tend to think they show us a bigger return. Yep. Um, the depth in the water matters too. I think the, the, the bass were deeper, the yellows were up around that 15, 20 foot mark. Okay. Well, congratulations guys. You had a second, I think, at the last round and a first. You've started the year off fantastically. Good points for Angler, the for team of the year. Uh, do you have any sponsors or any, anyone you'd like to thank? Oh, I just thank Luke at Outback Angler and Dubbo for looking after us with good gear. And, yep. Yeah. No dramas. Oh, thanks, Bruce. All right. Cheers, boys. Thank you.